Sup guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys 5 things smart players do inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. These are going to be 5 things that smart players do to make sure that they win games, that, to make sure that they win more gunfights, and just basically showing what good slash smart players do that maybe you don't. So if you do not do these things on the list, I recommend you guys to go ahead and try them out, and I am positive that it is going to go ahead and help you win more games inside of Fortnite because this does help me out a lot and I use most of these things that I have on the list here. If you guys have some other things on the list that I didn't put in, make sure you do tell me in the comment section below and also make sure you do go ahead and like the video, I would appreciate that. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes, I think we can absolutely smash that. Let's try and absolutely smash that out of the park and anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so in our number 5 spot, I have a tip that may not seem that it does much, but it really does. I recommend you guys to organize your inventory. So basically, this is having a set inventory layout that you like using, and it basically just helps you know which gun you're going to switch to and when you want to switch to it. So I usually have in my first slot an AR. In my second slot, I usually have one pump shotgun. In my third slot, I usually have another pump shotgun. In my fourth slot, I usually have a med kit or spare shield potions or bandages, something like that. And then in my fifth spot, I have a sniper rifle. And I've gotten used to that, so if I need to switch to a weapon, I know exactly where to go and exactly what to do. So I just, I do it really fast. And because I've gotten so used to this layout, um, I can just switch between weapons really fast and I don't have to worry about like thinking, oh yeah, well, where, where's my shotgun, where's my sniper, I know exactly where it is, and you just really get used to it, and it helps me win more guns fired, so if I'm running around with a sniper and someone pops up right in front of me, I can go ahead, swap straight to my shotguns, because I know exactly where they are, and do that, and it does definitely help a lot in the battlefield of Fortnite. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's our number 5 spot. In our number 4 spot, this is something that you can only do on PC. I'm actually not sure if you can do it on PlayStation, but it is use keybinds. And what this is, is you can change your keys to what you prefer. So if you want to shoot with your G button, say, which I don't think that would be the dumbest thing, you can change your shoot button from your left click to your G button. And if you want to actually lay out your inventory just like before and have like specific keys, for specific um, actual uh, weapon slots, you can go ahead and do that. I actually do that. I have keybinds for my last weapon slot, which is my sniper. So if I'm on my um, uh, shotgun, instead of having to scroll down all the way to my sniper, I have my sniper as X. So I just press the X key and it switches straight to my sniper. It is really, really cool and it's a lot faster than scrolling and doing all that stuff. Also, I have um, for my buildings, I have special keybinds for that. It's just normal Q for my, um, it's the Q key for my just wall. And then I have, I use one of my mouse buttons on the side of my mouse to actually go ahead and take out uh, the stairs uh, that you can build. And it's basically as easy as that. And it just helps you out a lot. And once you get used to it again, it just makes your life a whole bunch easier. You can only do this on PC. I don't think you can do it on PlayStation 4. Um, so that is unfortunate. But if you are on PC, this is an amazing thing to do. Now in a number three spot, I have something that I don't usually do do regularly, but I do try it every now and then if I do uh, feel like it basically, and this is baiting out other players. And basically, this can work in a few different ways. You can go bait out other players by putting loot inside of a building, then just be sitting in there and trying to shoot them. But that, I don't think smart players would do that. But you can go ahead, just put like a trap in a building that you think a lot of people will go in there, and try and bait the people to go in there, and then get them with traps. Or you can just do like put a legendary scar that you don't need inside of a room, have a trap in there, and then boom, try and get some easy kills like that. Just another way to gain a lot of kills because um, you do want a lot of kills in games. And smart players do want a lot of kills in game and another way to get a lot of kills is to use uh, Baiting players to your advantage. It's a pretty simple one that if you it doesn't really take much time at all If you find an extra scar or something just put it down put a trap next to it Always have a few traps handy and just go ahead and do that try and snatch yourself up some more easy kills So now ladies and gentlemen, we're in our final two We've also got an honorable mention in there as well, which is it's, it's a bit of a meme, alright? But anyway, in our number two spot, we have use building to your advantage to outplay other players. So, I'm pretty sure that you guys know what this is. It's a lot easier to build on PC, in my opinion, and a lot easier to outbuild other players. But building is a huge part of Fortnite, and if you're going to want to win games, you're going to need to have to build it to your advantage. 
and uh, you can actually outplay other players by building up, and it is insane. If you get used to it, I've been practicing a lot because I was really trash. I really just couldn't build properly. I was just all, I didn't know what to do, and when people rushed me, I was like, yo, what, what do I do, man? What do I do? But there are some really good strategies that you can use to do this. And if you can outplay other players, you're going to win most gunfights. Because if you had the advantage over someone else, you got the higher chance of winning the gunfight. And a tip that I have for you guys of this is always try and have the high ground over your opponents. So if someone is trying to rush you by building upstairs, what I recommend you guys to do is build upstairs alongside them. And when you get on an even level with them, build up two walls to block them off. Build up another set of stairs and then look back down at them and shoot at them. That will give you the high ground over a player if they go to rush you. It's kind of like a uh, defensive and offensive uh, thing to do so you can it's a little bit of both and it really does work if you guys it's really hard to explain if I can get some gameplay of it I'll have that in the background um, but it is really that's a really hard strategy to do there's a lot of these strategies also if someone is trying to rush you as well um, I actually got a clip of this and I absolutely outplayed some guy just by building up I'll actually play that right now for you guys again there's no way he's gone that far Oh, get wrecked. Honestly, bro. Honestly. You have no chance. So as you could actually see there, I used building to my advantage to make sure that I had the high ground over the guy. And then when I he actually had the high ground over me, I wanted to make sure that he did not know where I was. He didn't know what the hell I was doing. Then I built some stairs and I went up and got the easy pump on him. Because obviously I was trying to get the high ground over him and it didn't really work. So I decided to make sure that I roofed myself off. Because if I hadn't have done that, he could have just shot straight down at me. So my fast building there just stopped the guy from building shooting down on me so I built that up and then he had no idea where I was after that and then I started building doors and all that stuff and it really just helped me win the gunfight a lot easier and if you can get really good at building you're going to win a lot more gunfights than you usually will but trust me guys practice your building I'm getting a little bit better I think um, but I used to be absolutely horrible and I just couldn't kill anyone but now I think I'm a little bit better so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, our honorable mention for today is going to be to goddamn play on PC. Please don't play on PlayStation unless you have to. But guys, just trust me, PC is so much better than uh, PlayStation. It's a bit of a joke, but just trust me. PC, I like it a lot better. Better FPS, it looks better. You can turn down your shadows down, which helps a lot. And you can also just, it's just easier to play. You can connect up your controller to the PC if you have to, even though I don't recommend that at all. But the, the better FPS, bro, it, it, it's a game changer for me. It's also a lot faster to build on a PC, but obviously we don't have um, aimbot, <laughs> aka aim assist, on uh, that PlayStation do have, which does help you aim a little bit. And yeah, so that's basically it. So I, I, it's not, it's just a bit of a joke. Uh, but if you can play on PC, please do it. Please do it, man. And and our number one spot, ladies and gentlemen, we have a big one, obviously, because it's the number one spot. And this is move unpredictably consistently. So you don't you don't want to be sometimes moving unpredictably. And what I mean by moving unpredictably is not just running in a straight line to lead people to sm to snipe you. You're gonna want to make sure that you're jumping up and down, moving side to side, and just stay moving every time that you're running through an open field or anything. And you're gonna want to do that consistently, which means you're gonna want to be moving like that all the time not sometimes all the time you're going to be, want to be doing that and if you find yourself getting sniped a lot from, from behind and you don't even realize that may be because you're not moving unpredictably if you're doing that you're going to just people aren't really going to shoot at you because they're going to be like oh geez i can't aim at this guy he's he's he's, he's jumping up and down moving side to side and you're going to want to use that to your advantage because it will help you out so much in the long run and if you're at the end of games you're not going to be running in a straight line up to this guy's base you're going to want to be moving unpredictably and this isn't just on the ground even when you're building up stuff you're not going to want to be building up stairs in one line up you're going to be building side to side so the guy can't just shoot you and all that stuff same with um just everything just be unpredictable in the game so other people don't know what the hell you're doing because if you can confuse the other person they're gonna get really really scared in in gunfights and stuff and like even if you're trying to outbuild people as we saw in the number two spot 
if you're trying to outbuild people, try and outbuild them like unpredictably, so they got no idea what the hell you're doing. If you do that, you should be winning a lot more gunfights, and that's the biggest thing that I can tell you guys to do to help you out inside of Fortnite. Be unpredictable, move unpredictably, build unpredictably, and do that consistently. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that will end off my video. If you guys have any other video ideas that you want me to do or any other tips and tricks that you guys are having trouble with inside of Fortnite, I can do a video on that. Tell me in the comment section below. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's try and smash 50 likes on this video. I would appreciate that so much. And also, make sure you do subscribe and chuck on that notification bell for every single video or stream that comes up on my channel. And as well as that, also, my Twitch will be linked in the description. Go check out that because we do stream Fortnite over there as well. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that will end off the video. Thanks for coming out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.